the Aleutian lands with wheels onto the solid blue ice runway. The wind whips down Union Glacier, keeping the windsock horizontal. Wind gusts up to around 35 knots on the ground. The expedition crossing the Antarctica. The expedition crossing the Antarctica. Prove the globe. We suggest to plan to cross the Antarctica for maybe the first time in human history, to confirm the globe Earth and the continent Antarctica. We suggest to cross the continent Antarctica in November, December 2017, in 8 to 10 days from north to south, at a daily speed of plus 500 kilometers. I do not talk of skiing or go through. Today there are very beautiful vehicles for a pleasant crossing of Antarctica. We could start by ship from Cape Town to the coast of Antarctica, estimated for 1000 kilometers and 10 to 15 days over the water. Landed in Antarctica to the left of the Bright Bay Rock de Glace Iceberg and Man Cohes Imperi. Just arrived and unloaded, already the trip starts. We could try to travel the first 350 kilometers to the mountain Belgica. There arrived material check and away discussion. The first trip FO 350 kilometers Antarctica ground went well and we have a good feeling our technology does not fail us. We could continue straight south to the South Pole, estimated 1950 kilometers and 5 days. In the time of our trip, our ship will take the waterway and circle the Antarctica to take us again on board on the other side of the continent Antarctica to the Ross Sea Ice Shelf. If it is too expensive for a ship to travel around, you can also use a plane to get back to the ship. This is just one thing to organize. After reaching the South Pole it is now about to cross the South Pole and not go back. So we must go on continue to the Ross Sea Ice Shelf. Estimated 1500 kilometers and 3 days. Because of the large mountains in front or in the back of the Ross Sea Ice Shelf this is due to the viewer's view are located the Transantarctic Mountains. I am in the moment not sure where we must pass the mountains. Right to West Antarctic. The almonds and sea are left from the Transantarctic Mountains, or right to the Queen Elizabeth Range and the Victoria Land. To reach the Bay of the Ross Sea Ice Shelf. Our ship or plane, which hopefully waits us. A year of planning there is plenty to do, we would appreciate ideas to make something like that possible. We should not forget that we are no longer in the 19th century. In 2017 it should be no problem with our modern technology for an expedition crossing the Antarctica. The 
these blue six-wheeled trucks are both driven to the pole and back. I say this just because most people still have the images of the first Antarctic expedition in the 19th and 20th century in their minds. Really, I do not think it's always as cold as it looks on this picture. Why? Then look at this one here. By the next day, the ferocious storm has set in. Well, actually it was just slightly bad weather. But bad enough to stop the airplane returning. words in the end, we were not suggesting launching this expedition under the name of Flat Earth. At the moment we are still the globe, otherwise one could not cross the Antarctica or. So preparations should start with the official maps and information about our Earth. Why we think it is not a problem nowadays. Our technique and tools today much better than 50 years ago. Because many people have already traveled to the South Pole, with the tractor, cars, ski and even with a bike and bicycle. The last big Antarctic adventure. Or another disaster in the making, perhaps comparable to Scott's demise 100 years ago. Seattle. Three reasons. To go. One. The air you breathe will do you good. The air is so clean. 2. Most of the ice and snow is so old, there no other man ever had drank of it. 3. The clear night sky will replace you best cinema. Wait a moment why can you read dome on the map? and why do not they fly straight? Oh yes, the Earth curvature, sorry. Thanks for watching. Maybe we'll see each other on an adventure. Are you like the idea? Join us.